Step 5. Purification Demo. In this step, we're going to take what we learned in the previous steps and we're going to incorporate it into a full-fledged simulation of the purification, including all the sources of noise. So first, we would like to check that our simulation is uh, giving us correct answers. So the only thing we can compare it with is our analytic result from step 2 for um, X and Z purification for various number of rounds for a Werner state. That's here at the top. Before, we, had, we went up to 10 rounds, but for the purposes of this step, we're only going up to 3 rounds. And we see that if we start with fidelity of 0.7, over the 3 rounds it gets boosted to 0.997, while all the errors get suppressed. Here we have X, XZ, and Z errors. And this is, these are the results coming from our simulation where all the sources of errors have been turned off. So no photon loss, no memory decoherence, no gate errors, and no measurement errors. And it looks like they are giving us exactly the same answer. So we can conclude that the simulation is correct and we can rely on the, next, on the results uh, coming in the next steps. So now let's include the uh, gate errors. For single qubit errors, we set the probability of error to be 0.05%. Uh, single qubit uh, uh, gates are used to flip the basis of measurements. For X purification, we have to measure in the Z basis. For the uh, Z purification, we have to measure in the X basis. And we can use Hadamard gate to um, change the basis and always measure in the Z basis. C not uh, uh, gates are two qubit gates and they're always more noisy. So we set the probability of error to be 1%. And this is the result. Here at the top, we've got uh, our simulation result for no errors whatsoever. And over here, uh, this is the simulation including gate errors. And what we observe is that the fidelity after three rounds has dropped somewhat. Not drastically, but it's definitely lower than um, for the simulation where there, where there were no errors. Next, on top of this gate error, we're going to add memory errors. So these are errors of the uh, qubits that are sitting in our quantum memories and decohering while they'll have to wait for their partner that they can purify with. So we set the memory error to be 0.02% per microsecond. And these are the result. Now we can see that the final fidelity after three rounds has dropped quite substantially. And in fact, there is no uh, noticeable increase in fidelity going from two rounds all the way up to three rounds. And equally, all the probabilities of errors are increasing as well. Finally, we're going to add um, measurement error on top of gate error and uh, memory errors. And we set the probability for measurement errors to be 1%. As we said in the previous case, it doesn't really matter whether you use method 1 or method 2 for uh, simulating measurement errors because our measurements are destructive. And again, we see that the uh, fidelity has dropped somewhat uh, further, to, uh, close to 0.9. Now there's uh, one disclaimer or one thing to keep in mind and those are these memory errors. Memory errors uh, and their significance depends on how far your nodes are, how long your link between your quantum uh, nodes is. If they are very close, then they're not going to have that much time to decohere. here. On the other hand, if they are very far, um, then they will, uh, there will be substantial, sub substantially longer waiting time, which will lead to more memory decoherence. So that concludes our simulation for the simple purification demo. And as well, lesson two. See you in the next lesson.